the Malay is dead. No matter what, the Malay is not with us, or he would make himself known. Uh, he would have to be immortal. I don't believe in vampires, so instead I must simply say my research has brought me to the conclusion that it is unnecessary to create a series of secret societies because they already exist. Um, there was an attempt by two different branches, the Ordo de Mille Orientis, that whole side of the Orient, who doesn't understand the Orient. And then there was the Mormon Church, who sought to really understand the indigenous. But I think a lot of the indigenous learned a lot of their spirituality because people were coming for a long time, and that's even part of the story of the LDS Church. But the problem is, I don't know any of the tribal knowledge. I don't know what the tribe knows. I only know what I know. So I have to articulate it as though it's someone coming in. So I need to really like start narrowing stuff down. And little things, like I love the cinematography and I love the drama, but I'm probably going to have to take the lanyards and stuff off the walls so it doesn't imply like I'm trying to make nine orders because it makes it really hard for me to even think that way. You see, I have to put all my underwear in my trunk just to, just to be able to see it to be because I wanted to be able to see if I could see the difference between old underwear and new underwear, but I had to have them all next to each other to do that. And that's what I want in the trunk. Like that's the way my brain works. I want to see it because I've never had enough clothes. Don't want to talk about it. Um, but it looks like that's what happened. 20 or 30 different landfalls, but they were constantly going back and forth. I think they learned from a lot of ghosts that were a lot of the same people. They were just sending different colored eyed versions of like the same people. And they honestly probably identified with whatever species of coyote or bird and then and that's where a lot of it came from, but it doesn't make fun of the indi because the indigenous already that's a language. I call it languages of images. It's how we talk about what your Orisha are and what my Orisha are. It's how do we go between the language of images. I understand how to speak between languages of images. I don't know tribe images. I know mine. I need to make mine which are Templar, but Templar is not understood in any way in modern vernacular because I can look at the mechanics because there was a United Order of Mechanics, the Foresters, Freemasons, the Rotary Club, the Odd Fellows, Shriners. Like I can look at all of these organizations and just go, Temple did that. Like, I just know how all of you are organized because Temple did that. And the entire United States military, Temple did that. Like, I just know these things immediately because I can take those little itty-bitty things that are in a box from a Masonic Lodge and put them on a table and go, Temple did this. That's what that all-seeing eye is. Like, as long as you know what all the secrets of the Temple are, which are how to do a single Lodge meeting, then you know how everything in the United States is supposed to be organized. If you've never been inside of a lodge in any way whatsoever, the entire United States will not make sense to you. It won't. But then once you walk into a lodge and you walk back out of a lodge, you'll go, holy crap, who's driving? Like, what's going on? Like, I don't know what's going on. So, um, I identify more with that whole, like, Byzantine whirling dervish Sufi stuff because I caught myself over in the corner going like <laughs> that, was, that was funny because I know I would be sharing a joke with like a tiny little girl like this because Dima Lay was probably like an absolute ruthless savage that was like a buck 80 and Turkish girls are like this I met a couple of Turkish girls 
they were so terrified of their own shadows. It was ridiculous. It was, it was absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay.